what did you take from the first Rutgers game that strikes you as particularly important yeah. this time around? Um, just, you know, put ourselves in a hole. You know, I liked our fight in the second half. You know, we put ourselves in a position um, to win the game. Got a tough call at the end of the game and that would have gave us the ball down three um, that went against us. But just, you know, it's just hard to, uh, when you reflect and you turn the ball over 11 times in the first half to, to feel good about it. You go back and watch and some of the, those are, you know, Rutgers' mm -hmm. defense and some of those are, um, you know, us just turning the ball over and concentrating. You know, we had a couple different instances in there in terms of just bad shot, run out, turnover, run out. Um, flagrant one, yeah. foul, you have the basketball, get two free throws, they get the ball. And so, like, you know, we, did, we just had a couple exchanges there where, you know, we were playing for Rutgers. And, uh, you know, we watched it yesterday and just you know, kind of talked about those type of plays. Like, you know, you've got to be making hustle plays and getting to the 50-50 balls and rebounding against a tough, hard-nosed team like Rutgers. But you can't beat yourself. And uh, I think that's going to be important in this game. Um, for both teams, you know, whoever can limit the transition and also limit the other team from getting offensive rebounds, just the more opportunities that you can get is really going to help you. But um, we, you know, we have to do a good job of minimizing that on their end. Just the uh, what, what you've gotten out of Jihad and Evan, uh, right? Uh, last couple of years, yeah, for, for well, Evan and just what, um, just you know, having them have their day. Uh, right. Tomorrow, well, I think, you know, with Jahan, like, obviously he had a good game, you know, against Rutgers the last time, you know, coming off the bench. Sometimes that's um, something where you just play well for somebody. So you hope, like, you know, he has a great game, very similar to Evan in our last game against Iowa. He played really well against Iowa here. And, and then obviously going there and getting 14 rebounds and, and, and giving that kind of effort. But, um, no, they've both done a good job for us. I think it's hard to, um, to really morph into a team in a short amount of time. It just is like you're learning on the fly, but you don't have four years or five years like a freshman. You know, you, you have a, a year like Jihad or you have two years like Evan, and that's that's difficult. And obviously, you know, Evan had, um, you know, a tough break with an injury, you know, last year. And then Travion um, was, you know, going through a process of trying to cut weight and get to a point where he could play. And then Travion played really well, but he got out of the rotation, and that was hard. And, then this year, you know, coming off the bench and starting the season and not playing very much in a couple games and really just fighting and, uh, you know, putting himself in a position to when he got that opportunity to make the most of it and, and stay in the, the starting lineup. And we've just had so many different lineups, you know, this year just trying to find that right chemistry and that right connection. So, um, you know, both of those guys, you know, Jahaz done a good job when he starts. He's done a good job coming off the bench. But both those guys have really helped us. The, the Tommy Loose phenomenon. Yeah. I mean, could you have predicted what would have happened when you brought him into the ball game? No, I, I think anytime you have the guy that's, you know, at, at the end of your bench, and I always say that about guys that don't play, if you can help us win and you, you never get in the game, you know, you're a great asset to the program. And he's been a great asset to our program. He's had a great attitude. He's worked hard, um, very cerebral, very knowledgeable about what's going on. Sometimes guys are just over there. And then they don't give you something in practice, and they're a good guy, or they don't really know what's going on. You're like, you know, Tommy knows, you know, what's going on in our program. He knows our sets, he knows our plays. Um, you know, plays a lot of defense in practice at times. I think that's a hard piece. People don't realize, you know, how demanding that is just to continue to play defense and in some stretches in practice. But no, he's he's been great, and I think I don't think our, our fans have, you know, obviously embraced him. And, and then you've had some national media guys that have really put him out there, so people know that you know when he gets in the game that you know you know he's played well and he's had he's had some productive days when he's got his opportunity. And your your future walk-ons have a lot to live up to now with him. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Well, Grady was pretty good. You know, Grady you know ended up getting a scholarship a couple of years, and so did Tommy. And um, Grady got to where he started and was a, a great player for us. So um, there's no doubt about that. You know, but it's it's more the other things that's important. You know, the things that you know anybody can have a good team, um, but you know, do you have a good program? I think we have a good program. You know, because of guys like Tommy. How come scouting never caught up to the baseline crossover? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely a tendency when he gets in. <laughs> <laughs> Just um, I asked you after the Iowa game, but where do you feel like you are right now from the tournament perspective? I think we're outside looking in. There's no doubt about that. I, I don't think if it ended the day we'd be in the tournament. But we're also going off of what 
people are projecting instead of what people are saying in the room. But um, anytime you have an opportunity to improve your case, that's where your focus needs to be. Right. Um, but like, you know, if you don't like the hole you're in, you need to stop digging. You know, so when that gets to us, you know, you got to win games, and we keep getting opportunities to play quality people. And you know, last two games we've been able to win those games, and so now we got to try to just keep our focus on Rutgers and, and try to win that. You know, I, I think they're with that Maryland win. I think they're in the tournament, and uh, then now this gives us another win against the tournament team. And uh, that's what you want to keep doing is just keep getting quality wins. Just the way Eric has played over the last two games. Right. Over the last nine, when he's in double figures, you've won all six. When he's not been in double figures, yeah. you've lost all three. Is he kind of a, a good temperature gauge, he I guess, just, for your team? He just has to remain consistent. Yeah. I, I think it's not as much as yeah. during those games as yeah. it's in between those games. Right. You know, he's got to have good practices. He's got to put in time um, and keep working. And he's done that. You know, he's, he's really worked here in the last couple of weeks to – um, on a shot and just playing, just just doing little things to, to help his cause. But yeah, he's, he's definitely um, has really helped us in these last two games. Not just offensively either. You know, he got seven rebounds against Indiana. He did some good things on the defensive end also. You like Matt's new haircut? Sure, if he likes it. I mean, I'm not really big on like what their hair is, but so That's fair. I know you guys give that a lot of attention. But you know, if he rebounds, and I like the fact that he blocks some shots. Mm -hmm. Just Iowa in the second half. I like that. Made a couple of nice plays around the basket, so they can wear their hair however they want.